Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our video report for Wednesday, April 27, 2016. So we have the Fed behind us. I haven't really been doing too many of these free updates. Um, I had mentioned that we have a large marketing company that is going to be taking over and they want us to hold off. But I am sneaking a few in because uh, I, I, I just really want to keep you guys... Uh, as informed as I can as uh, you know non subscribers so let's uh, let's get started at sentiment timing we believe that human beings and the markets are irrational and there's always going to be an uh, irrational element at work and that is what creates market opportunities now we find uh, these irrational opportunities through time and that is uh, Woody Dor when Woody Dorsey's uh, timing profiles project when uh, the dates, when the markets are going to reverse. Uh, then from there, we match it up with sentiment, and he has a database of sentiment. And when if we're looking for a top uh, on a particular date, we want to see sentiment with a, uh, a few or, or four or five extreme bullish sentiment readings because it means that all the traders are on that side of the tape, and usually that means that there's a reversal is pending. If we are looking for a bottom, we want to see sentiment that is very bearish, and we're going to be looking for uh, where the low will be. And from that, we do a price, and we, we find out where support and resistance levels are, and we do our technical analysis as far as are there divergences uh, that are supporting the either the top or the low. And if that takes place, that's when we start just looking for the reversal. And usually it's just a matter of time because when everybody is in their euphoria phase, everyone's looking to buy, Every all, all the financial medias are telling you it's safe to buy, this time is different. And they kind of shut up when the market goes the other way. And then when we're, you know, the S&P is 150 points lower, they're telling you that you need to get out of this market. And that's typically when a low is going to be made. So we're at that euphoria phase now. And I'm hearing a lot of people saying that this time is different. Uh, it's happening. They don't really know why the time is different, but it is. And we're at this euphoria. And this has been going on for quite some time. So the longer they hang out up here, the quicker things are going to drop. Now, you want to be buyers when we get into the capitu capitulation end. That's typically when all the sentiment is very low and that nobody thinks it's going to go up, a.k.a. would be uh, the you know the February lows. There wasn't anybody looking up. Kramer was t saying that you want to sell the rally. Now he's into you have to buy the rally because it's different. All the fi media, financial media outlets are doing this. They just follow this cycle. And if you know how these cycles are going to run, you can position your trades that are going to be looking for bottoms before the bounce and looking for tops before uh, the market rolls over. And uh, you just have to be patient on it. Uh, things are not going to be 100% correct. But you're going to know, you know, whether you are it, it's safe to be buying or uh, or should you be shorting. And that's really the main thing because, you know, some of these market calls, uh, as far as the dates, aren't going to play out. We Our last one didn't. We are looking for uh, an intermediate term top sometime in March. And when we had the central banks that intervened, it pushed things higher. So we just moved to our next date. But when you're right, you know, somewhere around 80 percent of the time as far as with your – you know, low and uh, high dates, you know, the, it, it's going to happen that you're going to be wrong here and there. And we've never had price that really confirmed any kind of downtrend, but it does not make things any safer to be buying. So I had showed you in the last video that this is on April 11th, and I had this blocked out as far as when we were looking for uh, the, the strength to continue into and it was April 22nd so we made a top on April 20th so you knew going into this that it will you know you didn't really want to be buying into the euphoria phase and you're seeing a lot of the people you know going back onto that wagon because we had a rally uh, today uh, off of the lows and the thing is we're not near the highs and in this is where things get very very uh, dangerous because you can see everybody is bullish on the markets but we're not breaking out or we're not breaking down. So when everybody's waiting for it, what happens is typically things collapse. When everybody is waiting for a crash, you can see the, the, the all these bearish numbers down here. What happens is you rally. So if you know how people are feeling about the market, you could do regular technical analysis. And plus, you have you know one of the best market timers in the world who's been doing this for some of the largest institutions in the world for over 35 years and, and letting, letting you know when to expect 
the market to roll over or to be uh, in reversing to the upside, you know, you, you need that kind of information because what happens now is everybody comes very, very complacent. When the market's going up, it's actually really boring. Um, and nobody really expects anything to happen, uh, any kind of real shockers to the downside because all they're hearing is, is bullish statements from the financial media outlets, blogs, and on um, why this market's not going down. And before anybody picks up on what's going on, the S and P's down a hundred points, and then everybody gets bearish on the markets. So this is a huge red flag with all these uh, these bullish sentiment readings up there. If we take a look at the intermediate term, you can see that this has also reached the top. So we have we know time wise was going to be on the twenty second. We know we have. Um, extreme bullish readings on on uh, the sentiment readings and if we take a look at just our regular charts this is a daily chart here's your bearish divergences we have one two three four five so we have everything in place for a drop but what we really need is the S&P to drop through this 2074 that's the only way momentum is going to pick up on the downside and if it is going to play out as far as with this pattern as well as the wave count, the drop should take the S&P anywhere between the 1960 all the way down to the 1874. If things get bare ugly, then these, low, these lows are going to be taken out. But the first thing at hand is you have to have the bears have to push through the 2073 level or the else the bulls are in control. But this pattern is bearish. Uh, we know we have the bearish divergences. We know sentiment is, is at extremes. And this is also the time period that we were looking for the top. So I'm going to go over one other thing. And hang on one second. I just got to adjust my screens here. Okay. So um, what I want to do, bear with me one second. I'm going to pause you. Okay. So what I'm showing you here is uh, this is a chart of the, the Russell 2000, S&P 500, NASDAQ, and the Dow Jones. And the reason why I'm showing it is if you notice the checkered right here, this is the Russell 2000. So they are uh, the small caps, say your risky type traders that are usually wrong 90% of the time. Well, this has been lagging this entire rally right there. And, and it's a, so we know it's the lagging index. Now, the reason why I'm showing you that is typically you see people run into the laggers at tops or they run out of them at bottoms and if we take a look at what's happened now I just switched it to one month look what is leading the markets right now the small caps as the, the Nasdaq has absolutely collapsed and you have lower highs on both the Dow and the S&P this is a major 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 red flag and and it's something that like I said you very you have to pay attention to because we already w went over the other periods you know the other things that we look at as far as sentiment time and divergences so now we have the small caps that are leading the way and it's another red flag now one other thing I want to show you is this this is the uh, the the S&P in the blue this is the VIX look at the VIX at support and look at the S&P at resistance every time the financial media gurus came out and said this time is different uh, we saw an absolute collapse in the S&P so the, again this is not a safe market to be complacent and remember what I just showed you with uh, the the small caps leading the way well the total money flow small caps the big boys are actually selling this rally very very hard right now IWM is the ETF for the Russell 2000 minus 20 uh, 260 on the money flow block trades minus 251 so they're selling the rally and that is actual the index that's been leading everything so like I said we have um, there's a lot of reasons to be very very cautious right now uh, typically what happens when the markets go up everybody believes that everything is fine and they don't need any help or they don't need you know the information from the best market timer in the world and the time that they typically come uh, running to us to subscribe is at the capitulation end so n we get many cancellations because everybody knows what's going on here from there we usually top and head down and what I'm saying is you really want to stay ahead of the curve because the market is not giving you enough time to get out it's moving down a hundred and hundred and fifty points in a matter of days so you need to know what to expect and you're gonna find that out from uh, Woody Dorsey like I said he's uh, considered by many on Wall Street as the best market timer in the world 
and it's uh, it's something that you you want to do, especially now because things are very very complacent, and you want to know when to expect a low, when to expect a high, and be able to front run these moves. So with that, uh, anybody that takes the free, I think we're doing a. Uh, uh, half off offer uh same thing applies uh the i'm going to give you a free membership to markets path um it's typically a i, I charge uh, 80 a month so it's a 960 dollar value free and from here i'm going to give you the nightly video updates morning notes and uh email trade alerts as well as a trade room so if you're interested we're only i'm only doing it for 20 people because we have a lot of people that are uh that are subscribing for these and i don't want to tick off our marketing guys so uh with that enjoy the rest of your night and until the next video be safe trading